We're wagons. I know you've got a lot of regular bookmarks, a lot of regular sites that you might visit. You've probably got a lot of windows open as we speak. You've got, you know, close them all, minimise them all except the Indie Music Reviewer. We're wagons and we officially endorse Indie Music Reviewer. Reviewer. Even the rhythm section does. Fuck Ladies and gentlemen, wagons. Advocate. Indie music reviewer. My name's Henry Waggons. I'm the uh, yeah. singer, guitarist, front person that bosses the following around. My name's Sai. I play drums and I play bass when Mark's not playing drums and I play drums when Mark's not playing bass. My name's Mark uh, and I play, like so I said, pretty much. What uh, what album are you pr promoting right now? <laughs> this is our first ever um, release here in the states. It's called Rumble, Shake and Tumble. Um, it's our first ever foray into the deep pool that is the American market. And, you know, I think it's our best album ever. It's basically all the influences that me, Mark and Cy have picked up in the last couple of years and we've crammed them into a big meat mincer and hope that the hamburger patty that pops out at the yeah. other side is actually palatable. Well, it's good. Thank you. It's very I'm, good. We're having a great time so far. Yeah. Awesome time. I don't know what Mark... Mark seems to be having a good time. I'm having a great time. I'm having a really good time. Thank you, America. Is the hip-hop on the album? No. That's on an album that was released. You have to be a, a, a dedicated import-only fan to actually go back far enough in, the, in our catalogue to get to the hip hop song, but the show, of course, features a hip hop number um, led by side of the philanthropist here, and also Mark Dawson on backing vocals. Basically, I think independent music's more um, it is more important than ever before. You know, music globally is more accessible, and being able to create music and produce it is easier than ever, you know, so there's a huge glut of music being made, but if you are at home and think you're capable and you have the talent and you have the means by which to make music, the cream does rise to the, rise to the top. So this rise in the indie culture almost makes sort of putting out your tentacles and, and trying to, you know, create art more tangible than ever before, you know, it's more acceptable to rise out of obscurity than ever, you know, and if you can actually have the fortitude and the talent and the determination and the stubbornness to try, I think that's one of the amazing things you can latch onto, you know, indie culture, you know, I'm forever thankful for it, you know. Okay. Uh, it's not true. It's me. It's, okay, it's you. Uh, 
<laughs> so, um, can you tell us any about your writing process? What, um, what, what, who are you influenced by? Um, basically, my. Um, your life? My, it's it partially so. Okay. But um, I think there's incredible, um, you know. No, Matt, I've got, I have an absolute reverence for a lot of American singer-songwriters and entertainers, and particularly the kind of Galicia aspect of kind of legacy, all of those kind of influences that I'm not supposed to be enjoying. You know, I'm talking stuff from my parents' record collection, we're talking the Tom Joneses, the Rod Stewarts, the Engelbert Hung Pumperdinks, and I'm proud to say it, you know, but in particular the OB Elvis Presleys, as well as some of the cooler underground stuff that I've been listening to growing up as a teenager, like your Will Oldham's, your Bill Callahan's, Smog, um, you know, it's a whole mixture of that combined with Cormac McCarthy literature, um, you know, late Johnny Cash recordings, seeing Dead, Dead Man, the Jim Jarmusch movie starring Johnny Depp. If you put all of those things into the deep end of a pool and swish it around with a couple of chopsticks, you might get close to the inspiration for Werewag. loving um, the new Kills record. Do you know that band? I, you know? I don't. That's, I've I been don't. thrashing that a little bit. Um, also, um, I don't know, what else? What's the best band I should be listening to from Atlanta, do you think? I just moved to Atlanta. Are you, so, so I don't know, actually. Um, the night is young, let's discover this whole thing yeah, together. Yeah, we, we should discover it, because I just moved here, so I don't really know much of Atlanta scene. To be honest, I don't know. It's true. There's, there's, inc- there's a lot of incredible indie music from Australia as well. Uh, that's um, what I heard. I heard it's really big there. And, you know, there are... And you were nominated for an award at the Indie Music Awards? Yes. What we, award was that? It's the... We were just nominated for the... Um, Best country, independent country release in in Australia. I, um, you know, it's incredibly humbling. There's an amazing bunch of names in there that we definitely do not deserve to be in there, you know. But it's, um, you know, we'll see. I'm just looking forward to walking down the red carpet in a kind of uh, listening gown. Um, You know, I think this is my first excuse to actually wear a tiara. Oh, good. I hope you do. I'll try. Take lots of pictures. You will be the first to receive the uh, JPEGs. Okay, great. Yes, please send them to me. Done. Done. I plan red velvet is the new black. I (laughs) promise. I'd just like to say that I suggest you listen to it with um, thick padded headphones um, in a plush leather lounge chair. Okay. Perhaps one of those lounge chairs that you can plug into the wall and will give you a thick neck massage, oh, a deep, a deep nice. t- and nice. um, yeah. recline. Listen and, and be surrounded by what is ultimately a brainwashing technique for <laughs> me, Cy, and Mark to pretty much take over your okay. country. Uh, yeah.
new fans, wherever you may be, we've had an amazing night. Who knew that a Monday night in Atlanta could be so fruitful? Um, you know, we had very few expectations for this gig. <laughs> and um, to actually come out and have an audience to play to on a Monday night just says something to the fortitude, belligerence, stubbornness and alcoholism <laughs> and the thirst for partying that Atlanta actually does Woo! have. Um, so, I love this town. You should not keep hey. me away. Good. Would you say it's one of your favorites in the United States? We've had a blast tonight. Totally one of our favorites. Awesome. It's awesome. That's great. Done. Thanks, guys. Take it back. Bye. 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 Bye.